Hey everybody, it's Terry Crews from the new movie, the best action movie of the summer, The Expendables. With Sylvester Stallone, Jet Li, Jason Statham, Randy Couture, Mickey Rourke, myself. It's gonna be great, and you might know me from the Old Spice commercials, and I'm glad to be here with Bodybuilding.com. Let me tell you something. You will never, ever, ever see a cast like this, ever, in movie history. It's the Haley's Comet of action movies. I'm trying to say, dude, your testosterone level will jump when you get in the theater. I play a guy, a guy by the name of Hale Caesar. The best movie name of all time, okay? who's a long barrel weapon specialist. I'm passionate about my weapons. I have a, a gun that I literally call my girlfriend, you know what I mean? But that's my character. My specialty has always been my guns, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, that's, that's my deal. And this is one reason why Sly put me in, is that, you know, he knew that I had the look, you know what I mean? It was like, the guy holding the gun, and a lot of military guys were, were like, wait a minute, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't wear anything sleeveless, but I was like, hey man, this is a movie. <laughs> Check that out. That's the gun show, baby. I'm here to show you an exercise that I do to get ready for most of my films and TV shows and projects, uh, especially The Expendables. It's called the 24s. And basically, it's four different exercises with six reps each. And I'm telling you, this thing will work your core, it works your shoulders, it works your lower body. You are totally done. And because you do so many reps, it's almost like a cardio workout. Let me show you. The first exercise in a set of 24s is an upright row. I'm going to show you how to do it. Here you grip the way. Make sure your the grip is close together. Bend your knees, come up into it, sit in it. Make sure you have your balance. And here we go. We're gonna lift the bar all the way to our chin. Six reps of those. And then we immediately, we widen our grip, and we go up, do six power cleans without banging it on the floor with metal weights. If you have some uh, rubber weights, go ahead, but with the metal, you always gotta be conscious of the floor. So here we go. You gotta get down and explode on every jump. And we're gonna jerk when we get it up to the top. Explosion is what it's all about. Make it come from your core and your hips. And you set it and you do six reps. Right after those six power cleans, we close our stance a little bit and then hit a Romanian deadlift. You don't have to go past your knees, just enough so you feel it in your back. You're working your back and you should feel your hamstrings. Now, directly from the Romanian deadlifts, we're gonna do six jump squats. Take it, do a clean, get it up behind your back, rest it on your shoulders, and then you get down and explode. Right up into the air. <laughs> Keeping your back arched. <laughs> Explosion. <laughs> That's six. Bring it down. Hey guys, as you can see, 24s has you winded pretty quickly. So you have to be careful. Make sure you start with very, very small weight. The whole thing, this is not about how much weight you have. It's about the explosion. Even if you start off with just the bar, that's real cool, man. As long as you get the movement and make it correct and do all the reps and the sets, you will get burned. It's a wonderful thing. This is an exercise I do every time it's a shoulder day for me, especially with the jerk. And I started out with this, so that now that my engine's running, I'll go right into my shoulder exercises. And it's got me warm, it's got me ready, because your shoulders can be a really sensitive area. I work out very, very hard. My thing is to always be as hard and, 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 and as, as cut as, as possible 
you know, but, but within, you know, within parameters. You don't want to be just, you know, starving and, and have no strength, you know what I mean? And with a role like this, I knew it was going to take a lot of energy, man. I mean, you know, just to get through the days and make the physical stuff work. My workout that goes, you know, through the week is pretty much cardio every day. Uh, and I usually get on the treadmill and I'll do a half an hour at 7.0, which usually ends up with me running three and a half miles every day. Monday is a uh, shoulder day where I, I power cleans, I work my shoulders. Tuesday is a back day where I just get everything regarding back. Wednesday is strictly cardio, and I usually double up my cardio that day. Sometimes I'll do five miles instead of 3.5 and, and then call it a day. Thursday is uh, chest and arms, and then Friday, Friday is a big, big leg day. I go endurance and heavy weight. So it's always a, a, a good balance of doing that. Get to the gym, consistency, always. And if, if you have to not do an exercise for a while, just leave it alone, but work on other things. You know what I mean? There's always something you can do. I train very, very hard. I train as if I'm still in the NFL in a lot of ways. I mean, I, I use a lot of NFL style workouts. Tons of power cleans, lots of explosive movement. Get up, apple in the morning just to wake you up. Then I take my vitamins. Then I work out, I mean, pretty much on that. Then I hit a protein shake like right after the workout. Uh, and then about two hours later, I'll have some yogurt, granola, that kind of thing. Uh, and then for lunch, I usually hit get a salad, chicken salad with the beans, the, the lettuce, uh, no rice, no nothing like that, but with the meat and the whole thing. Then I might grab another protein shake. And then for dinner, it's a good like chicken breast. I'm always adjusting you know, whatever I see. And it's always like some chicken breast you can grab and that whole thing for dinner. And it's a, I call it a day. I'm not opposed to having some bread or, or some tortilla chips and, you know, because I, I really burn it off. I, I have a very, very active lifestyle. To be here and to be in this position and, and to watch, you know, yourself on screen, man, and the movie looks great, man. It's just, it's like, man, it makes all those years and all that pain worth it. Anybody who, who trains, no, it's 100% it's pain. It's kind of like the theme of this movie, you know? You know, in The Expendables, it's like people try to retire you. They literally, I mean, I look at Stallone, man. They try to put him out the pasture. They're like, dude, you're done. You did your thing. Now we got to give it to somebody else. And, you know, you should be over. But you always have to come back. It's always about rebuilding. You always have to say, I'm not going to stop. And the thing is, why? Why stop? I'm going to never give up. I'm going to always stay in shape, At forever. If you see me, I'll be the, the best looking 90-year-old guy you've ever seen. That's my plan. Let me tell you, for more content like this, you got to go to bodybuilding.com. It's the place to be, baby. Expendables, August 13th. Bam! Ah!